So welcome to Bad Food Vlog and look what we have here. A micro toasty by Morphe Richards. This is a microwave toasty maker. So I'm gonna open it up and well let's read the instructions first. Look, microwave cooking, no preheating required. Upper and lower non-stick grill pans, soft touch silicon handles and clasp, easy clean dishwasher safe. Advanced heat wave technology. <clears throat> this was a prime day thing which I purchased. And we're gonna see if it makes anything worth eating. So first we're gonna try toasted sandwiches. We're just gonna to stick to toasted sandwiches first. I'm just defrosting some bread. There we go. That sounds silly, but in this weather I tend to keep bread in the freezer so it'll last more than a day, because it's like 28 degrees. So <clears throat> there we have some defrosted bread. I just put it in the toaster for just a couple of minutes to defrost it. Ooh, look at this thing. Wow. I've got a little book here. Uh-huh. So you butter the outside, put the, put your content in the middle, put the uh, buttered outside on, put it in the microwave, flip it, remove from the microwave using oven gloves. I think you should flip it using oven gloves as well. It doesn't say how long to actually microwave the thing for. Ah, here we go. Light browning, two minutes, flip plus one minute. Medium browning, two minutes, 30 seconds, flip plus one minute. And it doesn't say what type of toaster that's, uh, microwave that's referring to. We'll do the two minute, one minute because my microwave is a very high one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly go and wash this because obviously this has just come from the factory and it's probably got some stuff on it. It feels pretty sturdy. It always feels alien putting metal in the microwave, but this has obviously got some sort of special properties and the bread's not gonna quite fit in there. So I'm gonna have to cut a little bit of it off. Uh, oh, I could maybe squeeze that in. I'm gonna have to butter the bread, but We'll do that in a second. First of all, let's go wash these. I'll be back in a minute. Whilst I'm drying them, I sort of noticed that even as I was washing them, I could sort of pull them apart. So let's have a look what they look like inside because, oh, just like I thought, look, there's lots of water coming out of the inside of them. <laughs> so they've got this like honeycomb pattern in here. And then they have this uh, for microwave only, warning hot surface. It says that on the back where you're not gonna be able to see it. Let's put this back together. It's kind of an interesting shape, really. It just feels so alien putting something metal in the microwave. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, it's still got water in it. Come on, get out all of you water. I know you're gonna interfere with the cooking. It's very odd. There's something else there, some sort of, I don't know how you call that, some sort of coating. <clears throat> Trying to get it back together, it's not wanting to cooperate. <clears throat> I'm gonna cut a little bit off because the last thing I wanna do when I'm cleaning it next time is I have to take it, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to take it apart every time I clean it <laughs> to dry it by the looks of it because that water's never gonna kind of come out of there unless you take this apart. And the water gets in there very easy because there's no kind of seal here. Let's put it back together. See, these things seem like they're easy, but they always turn out to be harder than you expect. Oh, that's really convenient. It only take a couple of minutes in the microwave. Yeah, right. Okay. Let's get a knife. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is cut off one of the ends because I'm pretty confident. Let's cut off the, oh, the top end because the other end's square because I'm pretty confident that that's not gonna fit in there easily. Now it will, there we go. Okay, perfect. I think I'm gonna put it that way around. All right, so I need to butter the two sides of this. So I need a plate because I don't want to. I had to spend a lot of time trying to get the butter off of here. Ah, okay. And here we have the cheese. All right, this first one will be for my assistant. Uh, but she says if it's rubbish, she's not eating it and I have to make her something else. 
Uh, Desolator asked, does the assistant's job oops, come with free food? It does, but the roll is already filled. I'm sorry, Desolator, you're gonna have to, uh, you're gonna have to find some other food channel to get free food from. There we go. So I'm buttering one side of that one. And one side of that one. That's probably enough. And then I guess, oh, I've got crumbs all over that. There we go. I put that in there, thingy side down. I put cheese inside. Uh, there we go. Nice amount of cheese. We want to, yeah, I put that there and then we put this on top and squish it down together. And then I put that over there like that. And that over there like that. I sort of squished it down together. Let's go uh, put it in the microwave and see if it explodes. So here we are at the microwave. So we're gonna go for two minutes, then one minute. So let's get this inside. And just pop it in the middle there. Two minutes. Well, there's nothing, ex nothing has exploded yet, so I will stop the video. Just turning the camera on because I've seen some motion. There's like, there's steam escaping and stuff and it's kind of moving up and down in there. It's, it's really hard to show you on the camera, but we'll have a look at if there's anything going on when we get to the uh, one, the, you know, the lap, we turn it over. Okay, we're at the uh, first flip over. Whoa, yeah, though. Wow, that's a lot of steam. I'm glad I have an oven glove to pick this. I need two oven gloves. If I put my hand in there without the oven glove, I would be burnt. This is a very dangerous item. Oh. Okay. Flipped it over. One more minute. Yeah, definitely a lot of hissing and steam coming out of it. Okay. Ooh, lots more steam. Wow. Okay, let's uh, take this out and go and open it. I'm gonna have to open it with the oven gloves. I mean, I'm gonna have to leave it to stand for like a minute as well. But let's get it out of the microwave. Okay, we're back here. Um, I'm gonna tip it over the other side. Uh, let's open it up. I'm still using the oven gloves because I can see just giant amounts of steam escaping from it. It's not very dexterous. Uh... Oh. oh, I think I can take this off without burning myself with an oven glove. Oh, there I got it. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, it's toasted. Isn't that cool? Uh, I should just be able to sort of drop that out, yeah? <laughs> hey, it worked! Wow, look at that! That actually worked! Let me cut it in half and uh, send this one off to my assistant. Then I'll cook another one, then I'll do a taste test. I've been instructed that this one is spoken for. And let's have a look at the middle. There you go. The cheese is all melted in the middle. So, tea, Hi. food today. My assistant is coming. I'm gonna take a quick photo of this and then uh, hand it over. I'm just doing the second one and it's apparent to me that they stay very, very, very hot. I had to run one of them under the cold tap for a little bit and I splashed some of the water on me and I got a little ouchy there, it's a little burn, but I would suggest not doing what I'm doing in ever. Once you've used this, once if you're doing a second run, you're probably gonna need a lot less time. Now I ran the water on them to cool them down so I could get a more accurate second one. And I'm not squeezing this one together this time. I'm leaving it more open, but they're incredibly dangerous. Once you've used it, I would suggest either dropping it in a sink of water or putting it well away from any children. They are, ex the hot plate is a hot plate and it's going to retain its heat for a very long time. 
And all I did was I was rinsing it and put some water and some of the water came off and hit me and it, it converted the water so hot it burnt me. So they are, um, yeah, any, like anything, it's dangerous, right? It says microwave use only caution hot. It really does mean caution hot. So I'm gonna just toast this one and then uh, I'll review tasting it and see what it tastes like. Obviously doing three sets of sandwiches in a row, this is more hassle than using the George Foreman grill. Uh, I would prefer to use the George Foreman grill because I can put two sandwiches on at once. Uh, I only have to wipe it clean and I can put another sandwich on. This is turning out to be more dangerous than using the George Foreman grill. Here's the second one of the three. Um, going to turn it back over. It's hissing still. If you can see all that steam coming out of it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna have to let this cool down for a few minutes before I put it back in the microwave and do the last one, which is gonna be my one, which incidentally is gonna be using the crust of the bread. Ooh. Let's take the top off of this. Oh, it doesn't wanna come off. Oh, there we go. Wow, see, so done another fantastically even job. I didn't squeeze this one together. I just allowed the weight of the thing to do it. I think that might have ruined the first one a little, but it still has pressed it by the sheer weight of it. And it's nice and crispy. Got to say, look, let's have a listen. Properly, properly toasted. These are, these are properly hot. Can you see that bubbling there? There you go. See? Maxi, yours is ready. I'm gonna go away and do the last one now. I have to leave those to cool down for a few minutes first though. Here's the final one for the round of three. And to be honest, it would have been quicker to bust out the George Foreman because the amount of time I have to wait for the plates to cool down so I don't burn myself and I feel like if I was to, you know, let the plates cool down between them, that it might actually drastically melt the silicon or something. And there we go. It's my one, which uh, was using a crust as well, which is something I wanted to do anyway, not just to come to the end of the loaf, just to see if it could deal with crusts. And obviously it can, and it has a correct effect. And oh, these things are so dangerous. I'm just gonna, I just almost accidentally put my hand down on them. I'm gonna go cool these off. I'm gonna like put them in the sink so nobody touches them and then run some water over them. Don't know if you can hear that, but they're hissing away there. When I say hot, I mean like, they are like beyond boiling by a large degree. So yeah, more hassle, like for doing one, spot on for doing two mm, george foreman grill would probably be less work to clean up after and for doing three way more hassle way more time everyone else has finished eating and i'm only just going to try it so let's see what it tastes like here we go it's got the standard uh look to it red leicester cheese of course so mmm well, how can you go wrong with a toasted cheese, right? Always tastes good. Mm. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video. And uh, if you're doing one, I guess the micro toasty from Morphe Richards is good. If you're doing more than one, it becomes a dangerous um, object in the kitchen, which you're worried about putting into the microwave too quickly after you've last used it. And Please subscribe. Bye-bye.